Well, hello, everyone. This is Dr. Eileen, and this is another Daily Dose of Medicine Walk. And for those of you who are listening in on Blog Talk Radio, this is Healing House Radio. So, um, today I wanted to bring up something because I got a couple of questions about something that I mentioned in one of the previous videos about how we can actually resonate with our own energy. And um, I, I wanted to sort of expand on that a little bit because it actually is a very important aspect of empathy. So when we connect empathically, we connect with energy. Well, we can connect with anything that is energy, and that includes ourselves, that includes our own feelings, that includes our own emotions. And the interesting part of that is, and, and when I explain how you realize you're doing it, it's going to make sense. Have you ever gotten a thought in your head, maybe about an old hurt that, you know, somebody did that you never quite got over? And you think about it and it starts to make you angry and the angrier you get, the more you think about it. And the more you think about it, the angrier you get until you've got this weird cycle that starts to snowball and you reach the point where you are totally enraged, even though it all started with just thinking about an old hurt that maybe started off at level two. And then you escalate to level 10 and you don't even realize how you got there, but it has completely ruined your entire day. So what's happening with that? Well, if somebody else is sitting there and they're very angry, your empathy can connect with their angry energy and it starts sort of a feedback loop. And the more intense they get, the more intense you get. And as I said, empaths transmit. So as you start to get upset, you start to radiate that and it's caught in that loop, that connection that you have with that person. So then you are not only receiving, you are also transmitting. They're getting angrier. Their anger is feeding into yours. And as I've said before, what we resonate the easiest with are the things that are most significant within ourselves. If somebody's a cranky person or an angry person, they will resonate most quickly with the anger in others. Or if somebody is a loving person, then they will resonate more with the loving aspect within someone else. It, it's, it's just sort of think of it as a feedback loop. Now, when you have someone that you're interacting with, it's very easy to know, okay, that's where it's coming from. That's what I'm responding to. Um, if somebody's talking to you about how they were betrayed by someone and you have either abandonment or betrayal issues within yourself, your empathy is going to clamp onto what they're feeling and recreate that feeling in yourself, which in order to recreate feelings, the memories have to be recreated. We cannot go into intense feelings in a memory without the memory. So if, you know, if the system is trying to go, oh, we need fuel for this, we need fuel for this energy and something to feed into it, well, you know, that old, you know, hurt comes back up within you. So how can this happen when nobody else is there? Well, the memory is still there. The thought is still there. The thought still evokes emotion. It just goes into an internal, le internal level. And, you know, I always think of, you know, the different parts of me as, you know, sort of being a counsel. And it was really funny when the movie Inside Out came out. I mentioned this in another video. I had everybody calling me up saying, oh my God, they made a movie about your counsel because I had talked for years about how, you know, sort of compartmentalizing each part of us kind of allows us to separate things. It's like, if I'm feeling afraid, it's not all of me that's feeling afraid. My fear, that fear part of me is feeling afraid. My love isn't afraid. My confidence isn't afraid. My higher spiritual self isn't afraid. But it is that fear piece that's afraid. It's like being on a committee and everybody gets one vote. 
And in order to, you know, sway things, each part of you wants that vote to count and has to get others to buy into it. Fear can usually stimulate anger. So anger and fear will, you know, team up often. So when you're feeling something inside of yourself, if you have that, you know, stray, irritated memory and it starts to snowball, that person's not there. The event may be long over, but, you know, it's still a part of you and it is still a vulnerable part. So if even if there's nobody around and it is especially um, easy to fall into that negative thinking. So if, if as an empath, if you find yourself thinking negative stuff a lot lately, if you find yourself, you know, remembering every time that you were unjustly treated or every time you were disrespected or every time you felt discriminated against, understand that a part of that is because of what's in the energetic field. A lot of people are feeling that and you don't have to be around someone to resonate with that. You don't have to have somebody just sitting right across from you. If enough people are experiencing an emotion, you know, within a community, you're going to get hit. We're all going to get hit. So the trick is to be able to identify it and cut it off before it escalates. Even if it's just that thought inside your own head that's being fed by the external anger that is around you, that is just permeating everything. And when, or, you know, if you experience that where, you know, it's, and, and usually it's just like some little random thought comes into your head that you may not have even thought about that person in years. And all of a sudden it will be as if the whole thing just happened and you will be feeling that and feeling it just, you know, accelerate and, and intensify until, you know, really your full thought and your full thing is just stomping around your place, you know, railing against what happened and that person. So yes, it is very easy to set that into motion and it is also a very good way to practice being able to dial down the empathy because that is also a part of that dialing down process. That's where you use your grounding tools. If you find yourself in this escalating, you know, anger mode and there's nothing immediately there to trigger it, if it's all being triggered by a memory then that's the time to stop, you know, take a time out, stop yourself and say, okay, what's really going on here? Why am I this angry about this right now? What is going on in the world around me? And especially in cases where people are angry that someone at some point disrespected them or abandoned them or they were not safe with them, that is a huge piece of what's going on in the world right now. So understand that if you experience that, it's being fed into by what's going on. Now, we can't change what's going on in the world. Well, we can, but we can change our little corner of the world. And, you know, for those who are getting out there and marching and doing their thing, and I will be participating in a march tomorrow, um, you know, being able to go into that and still be able to go, okay, we can turn empathy down. We do not need empathy on high in this situation. Turn it down really low and just deal with the situation. Do what we came to do, which is to march and to pray and to, you know, just really try to, you know, feed into the good energy that is in there to help that shift this whole thing. So, if you are experiencing, you know, those little escalating thoughts, oh, hi, Lena, she's over here taking a nap. Um, if you're experiencing those escalating thoughts, stop, take a breath and, you know, you can do one of those breaths that I talk about the, you know, breathing in for four, holding for four, and then exhaling for eight. And whatever it is, it's like as long as you can, you can have whatever count you want, as long as the inhale 
and the hold are, you know, you exhale for twice as long. So, uh, you know, you can do that. You can go into your grounding place, tap into your grounding sources, just break the, the momentum of it. And once you do, once you do go, oh, wait a minute, whoa, what am I doing? Why am I creating this? Why am I feeling this way? Consider what's going on in the world around you. Because what it's doing is it's triggering inside you. It is creating a, a, a scenario inside you that will feed into that energy. And you can choose not to feed into it. But it is, it, it's you're resonating with that hurt person inside of you. And if you are experiencing that quite a bit, it may be a good indication that it's like, you know what, maybe I need to really look at this and talk to somebody and do some serious work about getting this out of my system. Because obviously I'm, I'm not quite done with it and I might need a little bit of help. And, and I strongly recommend that if there's any point when you feel that, you know, things are getting away from you, that, you know, you're not able to function in a way that you want, that you're really easily distracted or you're having difficulty sleeping, please contact a professional, you know, call one of the helplines, go online and, you know, get into the forums because it's okay that we can't always take care of this ourselves. You know, we, we can't always, what is it saying? You can't always solve a problem with the same mindset that created it. So always be willing to reach out for help. And if you are, you know, finding yourself in these escalating, you know, anger moments and you can't block out what's around you, reach out for help as well. You know, let somebody know, talk to people about it. And you can, even if it's just like, you know, every once in a while you need to sit and vent it out. That's okay too. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out to me. You can reach me through my, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can reach me through my Facebook group, Medicine Walk with Dr. Eileen. You can reach me at my email address. All of those are in the description. So please feel free to reach out and, you know, we can figure it out together. So, whoop. <laughs> and Sam just knocked over some papers. Okay. So, um, good luck and hang in there. And just because those feelings start up doesn't mean that you can't stop it. Doesn't mean that you can't say, whoa, wait a minute, time out. Let's, let's take a pause, take a breath and ground. Grounding is, is key and, and you can do this. And if you need help, there are folks there. I'm here. We can do this. So thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please press like. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would really help me out and help out the channel. So again, thank you for joining me. As always, I wish you balance and I wish you blessings from my heart to yours. Love you and take care. Oh, reminder that um, because I'm going to be at the, at the march tomorrow and I have a Sunday service that I have to do like video for and, you know, and, and manage that. And there's a couple of other things I need to take care of. So I won't be putting out videos for tomorrow and Sunday, but I will be back on Monday. And in the meantime, you can go check out some of the uh, old videos and the topics that we covered. And if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments and if there's a topic you'd like me to cover, I will. So, bye.